When it comes to national parks, there's tons of beautiful ones, and even more horrible ones. If you are trying to visit one, you already know how much research it can take to figure out which park to go with. Well, luckily for you, we've compiled the list of the 10 best national parks in America. Now, this list is based on different factors, such as biodiversity, beauty of landscapes, and popularity. I didn't go there myself, though, because I have a bonsai on my desk, and eh, that's enough for me. Number 10. Glacier National Park In the 1890s, conservationist George Byrd nicknamed it the crown of the continent as a reference to the region's geographical importance. Located in Montana, it is considered one of the remnants from an ice age, which was a time when airplanes and cruise ships weren't warming up the planet. It was such a boring time. I mean, seriously, how could you live without floating buildings and complimentary peanuts in the sky? One of the most famous things about the Glacier National Park is its road, which opened in 1933 and was specifically built to accommodate cars when they finally realized horses were a pretty ridiculous way to get around. The park also contains 700 lakes. Not that it matters, though, as you'll probably just go to one lake and be done with it. I mean, seriously, it's a lake. Number 9. Grand Teton National Park Located only 10 miles south of Yellowstone, Grand Teton National Park is kind of like it's near to your little brother. Not surprising, since Tenton is a French word for nipple. Part of northwestern Wyoming, the park includes 40-mile-long Tenton Range, or as you will now forever remember it, the Nipple Range, which shares the Jackson Hole Valley with the Gros Venter Mountain Range, which means Big Belly in French. What is it with all these French names? It's almost like France used to be part of America or something. Anyway, Grand Teton is known for its 200 miles of hiking trails, pristine lakes, and the Snake River, which, for some reason, they thought would attract tourists by making it sound super dangerous. Hey kids, wanna check out the Snake River before we go to the Grizzly Bear motorbike track? On top of that, the 485 square miles of nature is known for fishing, which is probably not what the fish had in mind when they heard Grand Teton would end up becoming a protected area. Number 8. Arches National Park This one is filled with over 2,000 natural sandstone arches, the most famous one being the Delicate Arch. But it's also home to many different types of other cool rock formations and generally has a completely weird alien vibe. The awe-inspiring orange area is known for rock climbing and other potentially dangerous activities, and after enforcing tight regulations making slacklining and base jumping forbidden, Arches National Park became known for its propensity to be able to ban really cool stuff. Despite the increase in light population from the nearby town of Moab, this national park is also very popular among astronomy enthusiasts, who will spend hours staring at the sky through their telescopes, remembering the good old days when they were still allowed to base jump. Number 7. The Rocky Mountain National Park If you've never heard of the Rocky Mountains, you've been living under, well, a rock, and I'm very ashamed of this pun. One of the most exciting things to experience in this national park located in Colorado are the elk in rut, which is basically a fancy way of saying elk getting nasty. I'm basically saying it's really fun to perv on elk having sex. And it's a great way to bust the myth about the birds and the bees to your kids. Seriously though, look at those elk go! The park is nice to explore by car, on foot, or even horseback, but as we've established, horses are silly. The most important vehicle route is the Trail Ridge Road, which is the highest continuous paved highway in North America. It's not a super interesting fact, but hey, it's enough to break the awkward silence between you and your spouse as you're driving down the road. Number 6. Bryce Canyon National Park in this national park located in southwestern Utah, you're going to find a dozen amphitheaters, also called horseshoe-shaped canyons, on an eroded escarpment of Ponsagant Plateau. Ponsagant? Ponsugant? I don't know, did, did I get that right? Well, anyway, it's technically not a canyon. They probably just called it that when they heard how the people over in Arizona were making so much money with the Grand Canyon. The major attraction are the hoodoos, which are a geological structure formed by frost weathering and steam erosion of the river and lake bed sedimentary rocks. I'm not going to get into the whole detail of the thing because it's complicated, I don't understand how it works entirely, but here's the deal. The main thing is that it looks very cool, and due to the low levels of light pollution in the area, it's possible to see over 8,000 stars on a cloudless night. Number 5. Grand Canyon National Park 
probably the most well-known natural beauty in America, the Grand Canyon is known for invoking intense feelings of oneness with the universe and other such things that people say when they post a picture on Instagram. Up to a mile deep, the Grand Canyon began forming five to six million years ago when it was sculpted over time by the Colorado River. Yeah, that's pretty much how it works. Water flows and creates a big hole. Look, I'm no geologist, but that's basically it. The geological history of the Grand Canyon is one of the coolest things about it, as the area includes one of the most complete and studied sequence of rocks in the entire planet. The Grand Canyon and the Grand Canyon National Park area contain almost 40 major sedimentary rock layers ranging from 200 million to 2 billion years old. That's almost half the age of the Earth. Number 4. Zion National Park the state of Utah is the clear winner when it comes to national parks, as the peculiarity of Zion National Park is that the visitors walk on the canyon floor and look up instead of looking down from the rim as many other parks do. It's located at the junction of the Colorado Plateau, the Great Basin, and the Mojave Desert regions. Geographically unique, it contains a lot of life zones that welcome an unusual diversity of plants and animals like gophers, kangaroo rats, ringtail cats, and other weird things that you would think only exist in cartoons. Other than its natural landscapes, Zion is known for having some of the most spectacular traits in the national park systems, some of which that you should avoid if you're afraid of heights. Thankfully for myself, I'm only afraid of werewolves and vampires, so I should totally be fine. What about other monsters like Wendangos? Oh, gosh, there aren't any Wendangos in the desert, are there? Please, somebody tell me there's no Wendangos in the desert! Number 3. Haleakala National Park on the Hawaiian island of Maui, you're going to find this national park known for one of the best sunrises in the world, which explains why the name of the park means House of the Sun in Hawaiian. If you don't believe me, go learn some Hawaiian. It's available on Duolingo. The surprise is supposed to look so cool that visitors gather to witness it from more than 10,000 feet above sea level. Haleakala holds the simultaneously cool and sad title of National Park with the Most Endangered Species, being home to a total of 103 endangered species, including 81 flowering plants, 6 non-flowering plants, 10 birds, 2 mammals, 1 reptile, and 3 insects. Imagine being the person trying to convince the government that we absolutely have to save three species of insects. Included in the endangered animals are the Hawaiian hoary bat, which, like all other bats, is both cute and kind of gross, the Maui parrot bill, and the Hawaiian monk seal. You can tell that Haleakala National Park is a popular one because it has basically only positive reviews on TripAdvisor, except there's that one guy called Gerald because he didn't like having to walk so much. Seriously, it is a park, Gerald. Number two, Yosemite. In order to prove to the world that California has so much more to offer than just Hollywood celebrities and anti-vaxxer yoga teachers, Yosemite National Park offers nearly 1,200 square miles of beautiful waterfalls, dangerous selfie cliffs, and the sequoia trees, including some that are older than Christianity, which makes Yosemite one of the best parks without a roller coaster. Despite Yosemite being huge, most people just stick to the 8 square mile Yosemite Valley because, well, they're lazy, and they can just do whatever the voucher tells them to. That's where you're going to find the Half Dome and El Capitan, which are some of the most beautiful and unique famous rock formations in the country. For these reasons, Yosemite brings in nearly 4 million people a year. Now, that does sound a lot, but it's over 2,000 times less than the total number of views on the Baby Shark video, so it's not that impressive. Lastly, number 1, Yellowstone. Largely located in Wyoming and extending into Idaho and Montana, Yellowstone became the first national park in the U.S. in 1872 when somebody decided that it would be a great idea to make people pay to spend time in nature. It brings in so much money that the animals there don't even have to stress out about retirement. They have tons of cool animals like bison, giraffes, and black bears. Wait, they have giraffes in Yellowstone? Okay, no, 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 I was just checking if you were still paying attention, but hey, look, they do have pronghorns, which I'm not sure how to pronounce, but I'm pretty sure they're real, and even wolves, which were reintroduced in 1995 to spice things up. It's basically like the perfect giant outdoor zoo, except the animals are free. Weird, right? There's the Old Faithful Geyser, which is the most famous geyser in North America that erupts every 44 minutes to every two hours and can spew streams of boiling hot water 100 feet in the air, which makes Yellowstone the coolest place to cook pasta. The geysers, the Yellowstone Lake, the Yellowstone Falls, and all the colorful hot springs make it one of the most popular places in the U.S. to spend if you're going to be camping, even though you booked a room with access to Netflix.